He's an American hero, probably the biggest ever to come out of the valley. Killed in the line of duty. This weekend is the fifth annual Pat's Run in honor of Pat Tillman. And people traveling from all over the country to take part in that event. Andrew has them now live with that story. Andrew? Troy, they're expecting something like 20,000 people in Tempe this weekend. Tonight we caught up with one vet who's been running in Pat's Run for the past four years. For so many veterans, Pat's Run is a time to reconnect. You know, it kind of brings us together, and you, know, you can just look at someone's face and just kind of feel that, that bit of relief, like, you know, you know. Kara Hammer came back from Tikrit, Iraq in 2005. She's currently at ASU and deeply involved in Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans for America. She says coming back was not easy. There was a huge disconnect with the people that I, you know, my best friends, my family, and uh, that was the toughest part is you know, becoming connected with them again. Like many veterans, Hammer also battled post-traumatic stress. Everything that I was so excited to be back a part of and um, had never felt so alone in my life. And uh, it's just, it's a, it's a hard transition to make. This will be Kara Hammer's fourth run. It was created a year after the NFL star's death in Afghanistan back in 2004. The money raised goes to the Tillman Foundation, which helps fund leadership programs and scholarships. For Kara Hammer, running next to fellow veterans is a nice emotional break. I always kind of suppress it, and then this is the time where it's, you know, it's big, and I'm proud to be a vet, and I'm proud to be a part of something. Back in 2005, when this race started, about 3,000 people turned out. Now, in addition to the main races in Tempe and San Jose, there'll be shadow races all over the country. I'm Andrew Hasman, Fox 10 News.